kings, queens, and everyone in between, welcome back to Gears and Queers. I'm Jake, and welcome to a fun new little project that has fallen into our laps. I'm pleased to introduce you to the Rally Rabbit. <laughs> Thank you for the introduction, Jacob. As always, I'm Chris, and this is formerly my best friend Lauren. Her 2007 Volkswagen Rabbit 2.5 liter, five cylinder, six speed automatic. She was trying to get rid of it because she doing girl boss things, and uh, suddenly we found ourselves with an adopted little bunny here at a great price below $1,000. You would do it too for a check. We lucked out with this car on price, and we're going to turn it into a rally crosser. Hello, so keep an eye out for that journey, but why don't we take a tour of her? So, let's lead you on a tour of everything wrong with this lovely little rabbit. Um, she's finished in a fantastic shade of black. Uh, it is a two-door as well. Fun. Hello. Love a little hot hatch, even though it's not hot at all, because she is finished with a two and a half liter. Well, it is hot because the AC doesn't work. The AC doesn't work. We'll get to that. Fantastic alloy wheels hello center cut um don't uh pay no attention she has to a that. back one there's one over there she's in okay nick honestly there's uh there's some there's some cosmetic issues um surely no fault of lauren's she's a fantastic driver don't mind that beauty mark don't mind this beauty mark don't mind the one over there don't we don't know her don't mind the one over there don't mind the one over there don't mind the dent on the hood everything's fine but honestly She's in solid shape in terms of, uh, you know, structural integrity, and she runs. Let's, uh, let's take you to the interior. So this was Lauren's daily driver for like five or six years, and uh, it shows. She's got 206,000 miles, and um, some of the interior bits are a little bit worse for wear. Every Volkswagen, the padding on the doors is going to peel off. It happened to this car. They tried to put it back, and they did a pretty good job, but it's peeling again. The steering wheel is degrading. This is, honey, this is composting. Do it in your car. There's Miss Six Speed Automatic. Honestly, it shifts like super well. And like the mechanicals are pretty good on this car. We do have a check engine light, um, but it's a Volkswagen, you're gonna do that. The radio, uh, we put this in, actually I put this in years ago and that's how I discovered that the original radio was CAN bus powered. So we never got around to wiring a power switch, uh, a switched power for this. So you have to turn it off every time you get out of the car. Otherwise, it'll kill the battery. Um, hey, feature not a bug. Okay, so here's the tea. Lauren thought that this rabbit was gonna have to be euthanized, um, and that basically she was no good anymore. And I was like, absolutely not. We can fix her. Let us love her. Um, Miss Rabbit is chewing up her inside tires. Um, you know, rabbits like to eat, I guess. So uh, but one tire had a very exposed metal band. Um, so we threw a used tire on there and um, she doesn't exactly track straight down the road. But you know, all said and done, um, this car actually drives pretty decently. Um, she's just been around the block a few times, haven't we all? I'd like to highlight some quirks. Uh, my personal favorite feature, I'm a, I'm a horn user, I'm a horn lover, you know? I'm not shy to give a little honk. Um, this horn has failed, which I found out the hard way. Um, I was then enlightened to the fact that the wiring for the horn has been relegated to this wonderful spring-loaded switch here, which also doesn't work. So there are not, there's not one, there's two ways this horn has failed. Um, both are infuriating. You gotta drive this car very safely. Zen. Be zen, you know? Come on. You know, Jacob, uh, we paid, what, $800 for this car, mm -hmm. but we actually got, like, a little bit of a rebate back. So, like, let's talk money. Um, specifically... All of the, some of that isn't money, all of the loose change in the cup holders, in the pocket up here, ashtray, whatever she is, um, here as well. Under the seats? Under the seats. Um, I think I saw a penny wedged under the dead pedal. Uh, basically, Lauren, um, you left us some change and we're thankful. We're going to count it. We might mail it to you, but um, if it's a lot, we might keep it. The glove box doesn't open because it's broken. Um, we do have the piece that broke off, but um, I'm assuming there's more money in there too. Like we said, 206,000 miles on this girl and really drives pretty well considering that we do have a check engine light on currently, um, but we were able to get the car to pass in missions. Then the check engine light came back. Excellent timing, Miss Rabbit. Thank you. Very important. We do live in an emissions county. Uh, 
but yeah, we don't know what it is yet. Um, maybe it's related to the first one. Maybe it's not. We had to fix some um, fuel leaking problem on this car when we first got it. The we will elaborate on later. Uh, but she stopped leaking. That's all you need to know. So driving the rabbit, what's good? Well, you know, it drives pretty nice. I mean, you know, it's an MK5, made a GTI. Um, Solid platform. It's not exactly a hot hatch, but it's hot because the AC doesn't work. That's a good point. Very Close true. Close enough. Uh, the alignment, like we said, is horrific and genuinely terrifying. Um, about everything in this car makes a rattling sound. Um, the engine is basically a boat anchor. I know people have a sweet spot for these five cylinders. I sort of do, but... And it, you know, it sounds a little rally-esque. Maybe it, we could hop that up. It kind of does. Um, the back seat's nice and usable. A lot of spare parts back there. Don't look at that, it's fine. You know, I think the transmission. She's there, smooth. A rabbit, it's a solid, solid starting place and I'm excited to see what we can do. If we can wrangle up some help. Yeah. Other than the highlights we've given you, there are a couple of other little issues with this car. Fun little quirks, uh, you know, strange noises, strange rattles. Who cares? But, you know, we have a lot of ideas for this car. What are we gonna do? Are we gonna lift it? Who knows? We wanna put some knobbly tires on it, but that's kind of hard considering the fitment and size. Do we wanna make it more powerful? Possibly. I want some more lights on it. There's not really an aftermarket for that, so that would be something that would have to be made. We have a lot of ideas and almost none of the skills required to make them happen. So, this should be interesting. Please follow along. I think that this could be a fun little project depending on, I don't know, how much motivation we have how much money we have, and uh, how much patience we have for each other and this fun little two-door hatch. So uh, say, say a prayer for her, maybe one or two for us, whatever you're into. See you in the next one. Like, share, and subscribe. All that.